in our third colloquium, uh, sponsored by the International Institute for Secular Humanistic Judaism. And as I look out over the room, I see many familiar faces, people who were in Colloquium 97 and Colloquium 95. And we're glad you're back, and we welcome all the new people and all the members of the community who are here present. I think you are here for a very, very exciting uh, weekend. Uh, the International Institute has done many things over the past uh, 14 years of its existence, uh, creating many programs for the training of leaders in our movement, uh, publishing books. But I think one of the best things we've done is to create this biennial discussion uh, relating uh, to important issues in Jewish life. And this has been made possible uh, by the generosity of many people uh, who have made their contributions both in money and in work, most of it volunteer work. But above all right now, we are very grateful uh, to the leading organization in our community uh, that supported Colloquium 97 and has very, very generously supported Colloquium 99. We are proud to be part of the Jewish community of Detroit, and we are very grateful to the Jewish Federation of Detroit uh, for uh, its contribution and gift. The executive vice president of the Federation is here. His name is Bob Aronson, and he is a terrific administrator and mobilizer of energy. Uh, and it's with great pleasure that I invite him to share with us some greetings to this colloquium. Thank you, Rabbi Wein. It means a lot coming from you. It truly does. Um, I'm not the speaker of the evening. I just want to say how pleased the Federation is to be able to support Colloquium 99 through a special grant of the Jewish Federation of Metropolitan Detroit. Um, we believe this is an important event. We believe that the work of the international humanist movement uh, is critical in reaching out to Jews throughout this community and throughout the world. And we are delighted to be a supporter of this event. And you have my assurance that this federation in Detroit will continue to support the work of this movement and this temple in every way that we can. That's all I have to say. I hope you will forgive me because I'm on the circuit tonight. I have another event I have to address. Uh, but I wanted to be here personally uh, to welcome you, to welcome all the speakers, and to, gr to congratulate the organizers of this event. I have one special announcement, and that is that we've been working for some time to bring the work of the humanist movement to the attention of Jewish federations throughout North America. And I am pleased to say that this year at the General Assembly, of the uh, United Jewish Communities in Atlanta. There will be a special event on the activities of the humanist movement. And uh, we hope that any of you who are there, and I'll be drumming up support, will be there in attendance. I think it's very important. So thank you very much for having me. I would like at this time to introduce the people who will be participating in the colloquium. Uh, we will have uh, several opportunities during the course of the weekend when you, the audience, will be able to ask your questions and participate in discussion. Uh, there will be two discussions led uh, tomorrow and the next day at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And there will be the final session when all the members of the colloquium will be sitting here. And any question that you have of concern uh, can be asked. Uh, but the style of the colloquium will be that we will be talking uh, to each other and hopefully produce interesting and significant dialogue. Uh, 
sitting up here on the, the bima or on the stage are the following people, and I just want them to stand. I'm not going to give any long introductions. I just want to have you acknowledge uh, their presence because we are honored to have them here. And starting here, uh, Emmanuel Goldsmith from Queens College in New York. <laughs> Rabbi Daniel Friedman of Congregation Beth Orr in Chicago. Tirza Firestone, the creator and rabbi, Rabbi Tirza Firestone, the creator and rabbi of the Boulder a Renewal Congregation and Community. <laughs> Joseph Schumann uh, of Columbia University and also the ethical leader, the leader of the ethical culture movement in Bergen County, New Jersey. Dan Cohn Sherbach, a professor of Judaic Studies at the University of Wales. <laughs> Our keynote speaker, concerning whom I will be saying more, is Ev Chafetz, or Chafetz. <laughs> and, uh, one of the great fighters for freedom for everybody. Uh, Israeli extraordinaire, but also human being extraordinaire, Shulamit Alon. <laughs> and the dean of our sister institute in Israel and the wonderful organizer of our movement in Israel, uh, Yaakov Malkin. Jack Jacobs from the John Jay College of City University of New York. Now, is Agon Friedler here? Where's Agon? All right. Would you stand, please, Agon Friedler? Uh, who is from a famous journalist from Montevideo, Uruguay. And Egon, I want you to come right up here and sit right over there. <laughs> and what will happen this evening is that after uh, Zev Chaffetz gives his uh, keynote address, the colloquium members will have the opportunity to uh, respond to that. 